Lindor is not going on. It's getting ugly for him. It's getting ugly. We're going to talk about Francisco Lindor today. Chapman, I don't want Chapman anywhere near a mound in October. I don't care about tonight. I don't care about next month. Figure it out, Booney. We'll get to that a little later. Rangers tonight. But, Teak, you know, it's one thing to bet on yourself, right? As Aaron Judge so clearly did to start the season. It's another to bet on yourself, and granted it's the early stages, but possibly deliver the best modern season in the Yankee history. Hmm. It's kind of where we're going here, dude. It feels like it's going that way. His May has been absolutely ridiculous, BT. Eight home runs already. It feels like Aaron Judge is that guy uh, who is potentially the best player. Not potentially. I think he is right now the best player in baseball. Now, it may be Northeast biased because we see him every night and, you know, the media market that he's in and the the highlights. But that's really the, the issue. He puts up highlights every single night. He puts himself in position to either score or deliver a a big hit for an RBI. Or last night, as we saw against the Baltimore Orioles, just smash him into oblivion. Almost by himself. That first home run goes out. Mm -hmm. He has a three-homer night. And the, the Orioles, no matter, even if they did play well around him, they lost basically to Aaron Judge. He is doing exactly. <laughs> They're terrible. Uh, they are God, terrible. They but, are rough. But, I mean, it's not like everybody had a great day yesterday, but Aaron Judge had a great day. That's all you need. Which is what them. you want your your captain, even though he's not the captain, but you want your leader. Um, he's not really an alpha, but <laughs> he plays like he is one uh, to do for you. I mean, we've talked about this many times. We could go back to his contract. But we don't really need to. We know that they won't do it and can't do it until the offseason when they have a little bit more money. But Whatever monetary, um, I don't know, success you want to give him, he deserves. He, if it's $50 million a year for five years, do that, right? Whatever it is, Aaron Judge is playing like he deserves it. It's it's unbelievable how well he is. Now, the reason I use the word modern as I, as I set up what he's, at least in the early stages of doing so far. I mean, listen, Babe Ruth, 1920. And basically every other year that Babe Ruth played, Lou Gehrig, an amazing 1927, Mickey Mantle, triple crown back in 56, DiMaggio in 41, Roger Maris in 61 with the 61 bombs and 140 or 140 something RBIs. You look at really, you know, post, you know, racial integration mm-hmm. uh, and post expansion, right? Outside of Mattingly's 85 season, 145 ribbies, basically 50 doubles. Everybody knows the numbers. If you don't look them up, amazing. Plus a gold glove. You have to take what Alex Rodriguez did and throw it out because he was juicing. Yeah. So from, I would say, 1970 whatever, because Reggie never did this. And Reggie was amazing, but Reggie never sniffed this. Winfield never sniffed this. Mattingly did. A-Rod did. That doesn't count. That's it. I mean, right now, Aaron Judge is on pace for 63 home runs, 135 RBIs, 135 runs, and an OPS well over 1,000, a gold glove, and he's hitting 315. And he's playing every night. And the only time he doesn't play, he comes back and he swats. The two nights he's gotten off, he's come back the next night and hit two home runs. Yeah, like it's like he gets pissed it's, off it's, at Aaron Boone for, for, for putting him on, uh, giving him a rest day. For Tink, I, I, I don't know where this is going to go contractually. I, I really, I don't know. I, I don't know what this does to the rest of baseball. Uh, if, you know, whether it's the Angels, the Dodgers, some team late in the weeds that had the same reservations, understandably, that you and I have both conveyed on the air. He's 30, little injury history. Granted, I think you've contextualized that, and I think that's important. Uh, but still, he's hit a trip to the I.L. a couple of times here. I mean, this has to be changing everybody's opinion throughout baseball for no. years and overall worth. He's the best. Crazy. He's the best player in baseball, and it's interesting because we talked about, you know, he's not Mike Trout. He doesn't do what Mike Trout does. But at this point, are you saying, are you sure? I'm not saying that. Right? I'm are not you saying sure that this year? He doesn't do what Mike Trout does. And he plays more often. Mike Trout has had probably a worse injury history over the last couple of years uh, than Aaron Judge. And Mike Trout's have felt season ending, whereas Aaron Judge's injuries have been, oh, he just dove for a ball. Oh, he got a little bit of a strain in his calf. Yeah, I know he missed 20 games or whatever it may have been. But it never felt like it was something that was going to end a season for him. That's what Mike Trout has done. Whereas, you know, Mike Trout, he hasn't lifted his team to to different heights. He's needed help, and they finally have gotten him help. In fact, the Angels are one of the top offensive and defensive teams in baseball right now, which 
that year over year remake is kind of miraculous. If we were a West Coast uh, show, we'd talk about them a lot because of how how much they've changed themselves. But when you look at Yank this Yankees team, the the core, the nucleus is Aaron Judge. Yeah, I know that those other guys are, are playing well. Rizzo's got 10 home runs already. Giancarlo Stanton has got 10 home runs already. In fact, it's the first time in Yankees history that they have three hitters with 10 home runs, 35 games into the season. So it, they're all playing well. But the core, right, that thing that's burning hot, even though it's not emotionally burning hot because that's not Aaron Judge's M.O. or his personality, but the thing that is burning hot that's driving it all is Aaron Judge. And most importantly, you know you can count on it every single night. That's what makes a leader. That's why he's so valuable, and that's why him betting on himself was such the smart move to do. I didn't. I, excuse me, T. I didn't. This damn pen broke already. God, you know when you don't have a good pen, like I don't know about Is that you a Hoffman guys. pen. No, it's it's a me pen. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but like, and I think I've told you this over the years. Like, if I don't have a good pen, I don't feel smart. No, I hear you. It's saying. very weird. Something transfers it's write nicely. It's odd. It transfers <laughs> from my. It always transfers, and this is a bold point. It it fits nicely. It's not a little dainty pen, but it's not overwhelming where it kind of slips out of your hands. It's it's perfect, right? Now watch, Hoff is going to give me a horrendous pen. And uh, and I'm getting a little aggressive writing things down. He's giving me the option. Oh, he's coming correct. <laughs> coming correct. The pen man. Thank you very much, Mr. Hoff. Uh, but for whatever reason, when I have a bad pen, I don't feel smart. Mm. Not that I'm very smart to begin with anyway, but I feel like the proper pen gives me a leg up on what I want to do, <laughs> and I just broke it, which sucks. Oh, that, I felt yeah. pretty good to start the show. Nice. That explains some of those days when you're just kind of like, what the hell is BT talking about? Hey, man, listen, just because you can't follow, don't get mad. By the way, Miami <laughs> minus two over the Celtics. Cha-ching. Another one. Uh, let me let me say this about, um, yeah, at least for the game last night, something else that jumped out. Torres is really starting to find it. Really, really, really starting to find it. And the play with Gallo, right, in the outfield late. And, and well, also, King is flat-out filthy, but we'll save that for the Chapman stuff. So the play with Gallo where he didn't lay out, you mm-hmm. know the play, right? Yep. All right. Um, now, did he get a bad jump? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he got a bad read on the ball. But and, and this is a little lazy, and I think this is piling on unnecessarily. And trust me, I'm not carrying the cross to defend Gallo this summer. He's wretched, and he's probably going to be gone. But you got to be fair. The right baseball play is to actually do what he did. Because you see all over Twitter, you got to lay out. I get it. A guy's batting a buck 90. You're pissed off at anything he does, right? But if you lay out there and you miss it, Mm -hmm. the game's over. No, you're right. So that was actually the proper baseball play and a relatively tidy win despite Chapman coming in to try to grease things up again. I mean, we'll we'll get to the Chapman stuff in a second, but the Mets have the best closer in New York right now. It's not even, it doesn't even feel close. Edwin Diaz has been amazing for the Mets. Too Uh, bad they got the worst contract in New York as well. That's right. I mean, Lindor is hitting six. What is he? Six for, what is Lindor? Nine for 60 Mm. in the month of May. Nine for 60. Yes, this is why, by the way, Aaron Judge is clamoring Gosh. to make 30 plus million dollars a year. You know, we I don't know if he or his team said this to the Yankees uh, this offseason, but if Francisco Lindor, who has had some sliding seasons for the last few, even going back uh to Cleveland, yep. is is worth 34 million dollars. Well, he's not. And he's not, of course, obviously, but if he is, then and you know, maybe there's a you know, I don't know, a 50 to 20% uh, free agency bump that Cohen had to pay him to 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 get it, but still, Aaron Judge is worth at least that because Aaron Judge is reliable. He's not he's not combative with fans. He's 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 the perfect like citizen mm-hmm. for a team, and that costs something. And he's proving it each and every night. He goes out on the diamond again. He's the best player in baseball. But we try to you try to find the others. Is Goldsmith? Is it no. could, could it be Otani? No I'm talking about from a bias standpoint, like in your own your own like local area, St. Louis. Yeah, we got Paul Goldsmith. I'd like, say Orna- the, the, I'd the say Orinado. The Angels say over the Colorados. You know, we got Orinado or. You know, the Angels, we have, uh, you know, Shohei Otani. None of them are better than Aaron Judge. Right now they're not. And, no. And he's earning every dollar of what he's going to get next year. Aaron Judge right now is the only superhero in the game of baseball. That's a good way to put it. Think about this. I would say the second one's Otani based mm-hmm. on the two-way prowess, but yep. he is a night-to-night transcendent superhero. Now, you got to keep going. 
That's the thing about this. As much as we can sit here, but and he say, looks so comfortable. I have no doubt. But he's looked comfortable in the past, yeah. and he's gotten the the oblique or the dodge. Yeah, that he's got to stay healthy. No, he will. I think. I mean, I'm I just, hope so. I'm, I'm 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 talking it into reality. I like it because uh, uh, it's just if he has the season that you were speculating about. I mean, he goes down as an all timer uh, from a player standpoint, meaning other players looking at him, knowing his journey, seven years. Uh, under team control, got to go all the way through arbitration, and they 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 they, they cheap you, they cheap on you on the arbitration on your last arbitration year. You bet on yourself, and you have a legendary season. Uh, players will hold him on a pedestal forever if they if he gets ultimately what he wants. And I think seven, he will. I'm sorry, Teak eight seven seven three three seven sixty six sixty six. It's the Teak and Tierney Show. Twitter at Teak and Tierney. We're inside the Town Fair Tire Studio. Our friends at Town Fair remind you that at Town Fair, you always get guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Yankee tickets later. Uh, we'll give those away. This pace is insane. I thought yesterday was a really important day for the Mets. It could have been better, hmm. but it could have been worse. Uh, so the baseball season keeps on chugging on. First up, Richie Queens. What up, Rich? Hey, guys. You know, I was trying to call Boomer and... Uh... Geo this morning because they were talking about Judge and they had mentioned that uh, you know you got to sign him you got to sign him within the age pack that came up but what you know what it's beyond that if you get five years out of eight years and you get a world championship that's what you look for whether it's Sebastia obviously these contracts at the end do not do not pan out right now Tiki and, and BT you touched on it you know I'm a San Francisco Giants fan but I watch the Yankees all the time he is the face of that team whether it's the Judges Chambers what he's doing at this particular point, how good the team is playing. they got to sit down right now. And if he needs an extra year, so be it. There's ways of getting out of it at the end of the contract. Right now, you want to win a championship, and you want this guy on the team, and they cannot let it go to free agency. But Keep it's going to. to. Boy. Yeah. Because think about it. It's going to. He's betting on himself. Why would he ever take a deal now with – he's got all the leverage right now. So how does it not go to free agency, Teak? That's the question. Thanks, yeah. Rich. No, it will. It's it, going it to. It has to. And, and he's going to see, and so will the Yankees, his actual value. Now, the beauty of this, and Hoff brought this up last week, or maybe it was earlier this week we were talking about where, when the Yankees or what the Yankees could do. Their salary, um, their, 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 um, their, the, the top end of their salary, it falls significantly after this season. And so while it's way up there at $260 million, I believe next year it's 180 or Chapman's what? gone. Exactly. So it's, it, it becomes much more. Rizzo has an opt-out. That's right. Player. It, it, and he's going to because he's playing great. He could. And, and he wants to get a long-term But that deal. could hurt the Yankees because then they'd have to pay him more because you think they want to keep him. Yeah, he's very yeah, valuable to this team. Yeah, I, I think you're right I, because I'm trying to think in my mind. Like who? Were, there's no guy, There's no prospect coming up to Not replace a first baseman. him. So it, you'd have to just go find in free agency again. But he's going to opt out. But just think from a number standpoint. Uh -huh. If he opts out and. You know, Chapman's gone. They have a ton of money in order to potentially pay. $122 million actually, is their tax allocation for next year to pay Aaron Judge. So I get why they gave him a fair offer, because that's what everybody's calling it, a fair offer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of all they could give him. Next offseason, they got to give him a elite offer, and I think he'll take it. And I think they will. Let's get Howie and Merrick. What's happening? Howie, you're on the fan, Tiki and Tierney. How? go ahead. Hey, I I got the solution for Aaron Judge. Which is? How about you give him a four-year deal for $160 million. This way, you compromise on the long term, but you, you give Not him— Not taking it. I, I don't mean to cut you off, but it's it's a completely—it's it, it's a conversation that we don't even need to have. Yeah. Not happening, Howie. Yeah. No chance. Now, if you're going to make it short and you want to do a six-year deal, make it $300 million. Or four years for $250 <laughs> or $220. That's, for what would you say? One what? I, I said, I, I said four, four years, 100, uh, 160 million. No so, chance, yeah. zero, zero percent chance, Howie. Not happening. It's too, it's too short because that, that think of that, Howie. It puts him basically in free Jose agency. Jose Ramirez and we, we were like, dude, at, why'd you at, take that contract? At 34, yeah. 34 yeah. years oh, old. He's not getting the, any. He's not getting another big deal. Exactly. By, by the way, Tiki, I made a bet about you. Yeah. And uh, and you're the only person that can answer. The, if you if you answer it the way I say, okay, I I, I win a hundred dollars. Here's right. the bet. Ready? Oh, go ahead. My friend, uh, my friend heard me last week when I talked about you and McCordy. Yeah. The, so with I the said, twins. Yeah, the twins. So I said I can. I bet you I can name the one player 
who was Tiki Barber's closest friend. And my friend said, no way. So I, so I said, I'll ask Tiki Barber. And if I'm right, I win $100. And if you, if this player is not your closest friend, I lose. Yeah, I mean. Well, I know the I, answer. Now, do you mean from the right. – hold on. I'm the judge. and I'll, I'll lay out, but I want to make sure we've got the parameters right here. Do you mean what he was playing? Do you mean right now? Define no, when, when Tiki Barber was playing. I know the I answer. I can name ahead, the guys. one player – he was his closest friend, and that player was Amani Tumor. Did I win the bet, Tiki? <laughs> no, you, you lost. Didn't. You lost. <laughs> lost. Yeah, oh, Greg Camella. Greg Camella, right? Exactly. Tumor is my boy, man. I love Tumor. My best friend was Greg Camella. I mean, oh, not even, oh, not even. I mean, he lived in the city with me uh, before oh. he left, and then we started. I don't know, running hills together. Yeah, I love Tumor, uh, and I was with Tumor for a decade. Where, but I was only with Camella for. Four years, I believe it was, and then he bounced and went <laughs> went and go play with Ronde, I think. Um, but yeah, it was Greg Camella. Well, you lost a hundred bucks. Good yeah, job, exactly. And you lost it on the fans, but so you was, can't even hide. But it was a good, it was a good guess. No, it, wasn't. it was a terrible guess. I, I mean, if you don't know me, uh, it, I hear you. Because I, I played with Toom forever, and I love Toom. I thought he was going to say Eli. <laughs> <laughs> I, he wasn't there at the beginning. You know I what understand. I mean? Weren't you tight with Garrett too? I was, because he lived in he the lived city. He lived in Manhattan. He lived in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. 877-337-6666. I mean, look, think about this. We're knocking out so many of these picks that people just want to bet anything That's associated right. with us at this point. <laughs> That's right. My good. See, the difference, and this should be a lesson, when you determine the betting parameters, you lose. When we do it, you win. That's right. You understand the difference? That's Take. right. I'm glad you had it yesterday, because I would have picked Liverpool uh, going over. They did not go over, but they did win. Two one. You need to divulge what you would have done. I know, you know, I'm just saying. No, guessing, I only brother. say this because I tried to. I tried to do it myself. Oh, you actually? You, but you I get it. In? I, well, because I, I can't do it in New York. I have to be in That's New Jersey. Right. And so, so I'm so trying. I'm, tra- I'm trying to do it like, like before I get out of the tunnel, and I get and finally get into Jersey, and it has that geolocator thing mm-hmm. that tells you where you're in Jersey. Oh yeah. And then I couldn't remember my login, and I was like, "What the hell is my password?" You don't have the fingerprint. No. The ID. No, no, no. It's because you got to log in. Because oh, I don't right, have it on right. the app, I gotcha. have, you have to log in. I was like, uh-huh. "All right, I'll do it when I get home." Uh-huh. And I had to pick up the girl. I had to pick up Tegan from school. Well, now you're really hot. You wanted uh-huh. to bet something, you couldn't get it in, and you would have lost. That's right. Now you know you're rocking. That's right. That's good. <laughs> oh, the gambling gods are shining. Don't worry, they 100%. will treat us badly at some point. One hundred percent. 